Hello there, my friend. Thanks for joining me today. This is going to be a more challenging flow. I don't like the labels of intermediate or advanced. I feel like yoga is just for everyone and we just modify it to make it our own. So I'm not labeling this as an advanced class, but we may do things that you feel are more advanced. However, with the help of blocks and me walking you through it, everyone should be able to do what we're going to do today. So we might need a block and you might need a bolster. If you like to use the block in a half moon pose, you might want to put one on each side of the mat so you're not having to move it around. We're going to start this flow in standing um, at the front of the mat. So go ahead and meet me in your most beautiful Tadasana, aka our mountain pose. And once you get there, just making sure the feet are hip width apart. Go ahead and lift the toes up here. And then we're just going to slowly lower them down and grip through the mat. And let's do that one more time, lifting the toes up. And then slowly, maybe one by one this time, lowering them down and then gripping through those toes. Go ahead and have that tilt in the pelvis forwards here. We're not dumping in it. We are pulling the booty in, maybe even slight engagement of the glutes here. Roll the shoulder blades down the back body. Hands are pointed. Palms are facing forward. Crown of the head is actively reaching up. And here we are. Perfect posture. We may have just grown a whole nother half an inch. Way to go. Tapping into the breath here. We're going to use the breath, this entire flow, to get us through it. When we focus on the breath instead of focusing on the pose or whatever is going through the mind, we're normally more able to get there. So I'm challenging you today to get out of your head and to get into your breath. <laughs> nice steady inhales and this slow and controlled exhales. I'm feeling mighty wild today. So I hope you're ready. Inhale the arms up. And exhale, we'll slice to the sky. Forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, we fold. We're going to peel up to standing. Roll the shoulder blades down the back body. Head and neck come last. Yes. And again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, slice through the sky. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, we fold. Peel ourselves all the way up to standing. Head and neck coming last again. Ah. One more time. Inhale, the arms up. And exhale, we fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Let's just hang out here for just a second. First, rag doll, or you could also interlace the hands behind the back. You know, there's so many options here. But if you just like to find stillness here or just a slight sway left to right, be my guest. Tapping back into the breath here, forgetting the thoughts about the legs or the back, and just hanging here, focusing on the inhales and the exhales. As always, in all of my classes, there should never be any sharp shooting or stabbing pains. Slight level of discomfort is fine. We should be aware enough to know the difference. Back to that breath. Beautiful inhale. And the controlled exhale. We'll lift up halfway one more time here. Exhale, we'll fold. We'll plant our hands down and step the feet back. We're in a plank position. If you need the knees lowered, be my guest. We're going to bring the gaze up and forward. And now we're all going to lower down the knees and then the chest and the chin come through into our cobra. Maybe lifting the hands off if you're into that sort of thing. And exhale, we're planting the hands, we're tucking the toes, we're coming up through a plank, and then back to down dog. Go ahead and pedal the feet out here, 
stretching through the hamstrings, getting deep into the legs here, pushing equally through the hands. And you got it. We're tapping back into the breath, our life force here. We're thinking positive thoughts. Mindful of how we are moving here. Mindful of the energy that we are creating around us. We come here on the mat in our own little personal space so that we can master these things here in order to take them out into the real world. It can be a wild place out there. <laughs> okay, we're going to all come up onto the tiptoes here. A big bend in the knee, trying to get the belly to touch the thighs. What this does is gives us a nice shoulder stretch. Now just breathe here. We'll be here for two rounds of breath. Just feeling those shoulders continuing to push. One more round. Now while we're in this crouch position, we're going to hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we're going to peel all the way up to standing. Roll those shoulder blades down the back body. Palms face forward. Yeah. Let's do a sunbeam. Inhale those arms down to come up. Slice through the sky. Half lift. Fold. Step the left foot back. You can move that right foot forward just a little bit if you need to. And on an inhale, we're rising up. High lunge. Maybe bending through that left leg. If it feels good for you. Exhale, we plant the hands beside the right foot and step it back, plank. If you want to lower down the knees, chest, chin, be my guest. You could also do chaturanga up dog. Everybody meets in a down dog. We're going to step the left foot forward in between the hands. On an inhale, we rise up. High lunge here. If you want to bend that right knee, be my guest. Beautiful. Exhale, hands plant, step back, plank. Vinyasa, whichever one you want to take, we all meet, down dog. Let's just take a few rounds of breath here. Gonna come up on those tiptoes again and hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, we lift up halfway. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we're gonna peel up to standing. Head and neck come last. Roll those shoulder blades down. Beautiful. Let's get our wild on here. We're gonna inhale this left knee up to the chest, knee to chest pose here. Now, as always, the hands make a difference. So if they, if you feel more balanced with them on your hips, take it on your hips. If you're like, that doesn't help me, take them to the side. We got all kinds of options with the arms here. There's no right or wrong. We are coming for half moon. So we're gonna send the left leg back Right hand's going to come towards this mat. If we need to use the block, it's there for us. If you want to take your gaze up towards that left hand, be my guest. Breath in and out. Big step back coming into goddess. I want the feet pivoted, arms up and overhead, maybe bringing them down into our cactus arms here. Gorgeous. Straightening through the right leg. Left hand coming behind, beside left foot. Right hand up. Little side angle. Coming back to the breath. Okay. You should have that block there if you want to use it. We're coming in for half moon on this side. Left hand in front of left foot. 
right arm up. If it feels good, you can take your gaze towards that right hand. You don't have to. It is not necessary. You should be happy. Big smiles, big breath. And on your inhale, we're rising up on this left leg. So right knee is at the chest. We're breathing. Hands are wherever it feels good for you. They could be flying all over the place, and that doesn't matter at all. Okay, let's make it back around. Coming in, half moon. Left hand comes down, right foot kicks back. Breath in and out. Big step back, coming in for goddess. So pivot that foot. Arms up. They don't have to be. They can be on your hips still. But if you want, cactus arms is always an option. Breathe. Okay, so we're going to straighten through the left. Right hand comes beside right foot. Mm -hmm. Extended side angle. Breathe. Awesome. Coming back for that half moon. So this right hand, you can use this block here. Pop yourself up, half moon, left foot's reaching back. Maybe you want to take your gaze towards that left hand, only if it feels good. Rooting down through that front big toe is going to help your balance here. Whoo, and coming back, knee to chest. <laughs> and let's release. It's going to shake it out here. Oh, yeah, that was nice. And you, you got it. <laughs> we got a whole other side to do. We're definitely doing it. So let's center ourselves and get ourselves prepared for the other side. So we're balancing on the left foot now, right knee to chest. Once again, arms are wherever you want them. It's a beautiful thing. All right. Big, 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 big flow here into half moon. So left hand in front of that left foot, right hand up. Maybe you want to take your gaze towards that right hand. Big breath. Big step back on a pivoted foot coming into goddess here. Arms are wherever. I'm offering a cactus arms here though. Pull those elbows back. Back to that breath. Keep it in your control. Straighten through that left leg, right hand beside right foot, left arm up, extended side angle here. Back to the breath. Pop up, half moon on this side. Left right hand in front of right foot, left arm up, maybe taking the gaze towards that left hand. And we rise up, knee to chest. Oh, yes. Once again, the arms are wherever feels good. <laughs> Breath is key. You got this. You're doing fantastic. And here we go again. Send that leg back, revolving into our half moon here. Goddess, big step back on a pivoted foot. Arms are wherever you want them to be. Straighten through that right leg, left hand beside left foot, right arm up, extended side angle. And we are popping up back into our half moon on this side. That right hand's up, that right foot's back. Left hand in front of left foot, rooting through that left big toe. Rise up, knee to chest. Oh, you are magnificent. Shake it out. <laughs> We're doing it again because it's so much fun and we are wild today. Wild. Okay, we got this. We can do this. We are going to go a little bit faster, but you and your body knows what's coming this time. So this should be fun. Have fun with this. 
We are not supposed to take it too seriously, okay? If we fall, we get up and we try again. If we're hot, we fan ourselves off. We know this is going to be over soon. Left knee to chest. Revolve, half moon. Big step, goddess. Extended side plank on the left. Extended side angle on the left. Half moon, knee to chest. Beautiful, let's make our way back, send it back. Half moon, big step into goddess, pivot on those feet, straighten through that left leg, right hand beside right foot, back into that extended side angle. All right, half moon here on this side and knee to chest. Whew, about lost it there. And release. You see, that wasn't too bad. Let's go again, other side. Right knee to chest. Big, big, big step. Our leg goes back, half moon. <laughs> Not big step, sorry. Breathe, I'm glad y'all know what y'all are doing this time. Now we're taking that big step back, goddess. Arms up. Straighten through that left leg, right hand comes beside right foot, extended side angle. Pop up, half moon, top of the mat, or back of the mat. Knee to chest, oh yes. Beautiful, my yogi friends. Let's make our way back. Half moon, goddess, pivot those feet, straighten that right leg, left hand beside left foot, extended side angle, pop forward, half moon, and knee to chest, release it. Let's come in, wide-legged forward fold. Just step that foot out, hinge at the hips to come forward. Let's just find our rag doll here. If your head's touching the floor, just heel toe those feet in a little bit. And let's find that connection to the breath here. One more round of breath. And we're coming in yogi squat, so heel toe those feet in. Hands at heart center, elbows pushing against the knees. If your heels aren't on the mat, it's not a big deal. We won't be here long. We do have more play time though, or more wildness, whichever you're considering it. <laughs> you can take a big sit. Okay, we are coming in for a little bit of an arm balance. So we're gonna call this Funky Crow. This is what we've been calling it on Instagram. So if you want to fly your Funky Crow, I'm gonna show you both ways. I'm also gonna show you two ways to do this. The block is helpful if you wanna play in Crow. And also the bolster, you put it in front of your head so that you're kind of keeping yourself lifted. That's the point of it, so that your head's not just smacking the floor. Okay, so we're gonna start on the left forearm, okay? This right hand is going to be near or in line with this left elbow. We're coming forward with the upper body and the gaze is staying forward. If you do not have your gaze forward, this isn't gonna work. You gotta look forward. 
Okay, we're gonna come up on our toes or our feet here. Now we're bringing the knees to this right elbow. Obviously, only one knee is going to actually fit there. So the other has to hug in, or you can send the left leg up and fly the crow. If you're laughing at me right now saying there's no way, the other option is to put your head on the mat. Okay, and then we try it. Because this is still challenging your core and the balance, okay? So let's just play with this together, or you can watch me the first time. And then we can play together. Or get wild together. Look forward as much as possible here. Okay, so let's try it again. Same side, and we'll switch over. And the elbow and the finger, or the hands, probably shoulder width apart. Easily. And if you don't like funky crow, you can just play with crow, obviously. <sighs> Sit back. We're going to go to the other side. I am mightily warm. <laughs> I hope you are too. It's also really warm down here. Probably need to invest in some sort of fan. Okay, so let's try the other side. So the right forearm's coming down. If you're still wanting to play on that side, be my guest. You can always pause me. It's a great thing about YouTube. So here you see this left hand's in line with this right elbow. Right hand's gripping the mat. Gaze is forward. Even if you can't see forward, you're trying. Okay, it's all about the directional energy. And it's like, where are you pointing the energy? <laughs> I hope y'all like that challenge. I always love to give a challenge. All right. So we're rocking and rolling. If you want to pause me and play with that funky crow, be my guest. We're going to rock and roll. We're going to land on our backs with our legs up. Everyone should have a crow. I mean, everyone should have a block. If you don't, it's not a big deal. I'm going to put it in between the knees and squeeze. And release the hands behind the head. We're just going to come in for some crunches here. Let's do 20 of them. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, breathe, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, you got this, 19, 20, Whew. release that block, hug these knees in, you're amazing, send the arms into a T, drop the legs over towards the right, gaze goes towards the left, if you want to bring this right hand to this left knee, you might guess, just make sure both the shoulders are on the mat. And we are breathing love and positivity into our bellies. Nice big inhale and exhales. Inhaling all the love, all the positivity and releasing all the things that no longer serve us.
take one more full round of breath here. And on that next inhale, we'll come back through center, arms back into our T, drop them over towards the left, left hand, right knee maybe, keeping both the shoulders on the mat, taking the gaze towards that right hand. One more round of breath here. And on an inhale, we come back to center. Big hug of the knees again. Maybe give those knees a kiss. And we're coming in for Shavasana. If you'd rather take a seated meditation, be my guest. All right, I'm going to take up some space here because we're being wild today. Take those legs just a little bit wider and those arms just a little more expansive, a little more wild. Mm. Come in here, being the observer, not getting lost in thought, utilizing the control that you have. Noticing here so we can take it off the mat and practice it in the real world, the real wild. Bringing that awareness back to the breath. Wiggling the fingers and toes. We're all going to slowly find our way in a comfortable seat. However that feels best, you can also stay in your Shavasana. Let's go ahead and bring the hands to heart center. Mm, thank you for joining me on this wild ride today. I hope the rest of your day is calm, cool, and collected. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. Please comment below. Let me know what you thought about this flow. I went a little bit out of the box today, but I thought y'all would enjoy it. And I look forward to hearing what you thought. Also, 
find me on social media. I am a big fan of connecting with you guys. I love to know who you are and who's practicing with me. Once again, I appreciate you so much, and I look forward to seeing you back on the mat tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your day.